One of the key ideas behind an experimental design is to provide a reasonable distribution of data points in the region of interest. The most used approach to second-order models is the central composite design. Starting with a two in the power of k factorial design with central points, the new points are obtained by a 45 degree rotation of the factorial points over the x1, x2 axis. The new experimental points are called axial points or star points, and their Cartesian coordinates are the combination of zero and negative or positive alpha. But how to calculate the alpha value? Using two axial points and the central points, we can draw a right triangle with hypotenuse equal to 2 and legs equal to alpha. The length of the hypotenuse is the difference between the high and low levels of the coded variables in the twin the power of k design, two units. Using the well-known Pythagoras theorem, we can determine the alpha value as the square root of 2, 1.414. This way, the four axial points are the combination of negative or positive 1.414 and 0. This particular design is a spherical design, with all experimental points equidistant from the design center. The experimental matrix of a central composite design consists of nf equal to 2 in the power of k factorial points, nc center points, and na equal to 2k axial points. Let's now go back to our last design and augment it with axial points. We have tested the factorial design with central points, and the relationship between the coded and the natural variables are shown in the slide. We can use these relationships to calculate the axial values of time and temperature. The axial points for time are 92.07 and 77.93 minutes, and the axial points for temperature are 182.07 and 167.96 degrees Celsius. Before analyzing the response, let's visualize the treatment's distribution. Being x1 the time and x2 the temperature, we can have a graphical visualization of the experimental points. This plot is not necessary, but it is always a good idea to check the experimental points distribution. Let's now add the experimental results and analyze the data. Please download and open the CSV and the R code files, and let's jump to R. Music